Hi everybody! So today is the last day of our countdown to the Smash Ultimate DLC reveal. Which is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. here in our time, Central Time. Right? So we are gonna go over the rest of the Kirby's that we think have a chance to be in it. Um, so it might be a longer video, but we're just gonna go over them and give a, a, a little description about why. We can. So Yuri, what's your first one? Dada. That's the back of the paper. <coughs> All right, who is that, Yuri? That's his Kirby. That, that is Paper Kirby for Paper Mario. You should do it with <laughs> I know, you'll keep saying that. All right, so why do you think Paper Mario, Paper Kirby are gonna be in there? Uh, wait, because mm -hmm. people, Kirby, mm -hmm. they already have Mario and Luigi. But they have Mario and Luigi. Um, we did play the Origami King, right? Did you like that game? Yes, I did. We didn't finish it. You're right, but we played it. I watched it a million times. All, mm -hmm. like all of the episodes, what well, all happened, and you haven't even mm. got. No way. Two. The last box of paper. I haven't. I haven't got it. I, I will get to it. He, the paper, the guy you're facing does die. Okay. That's the only I'll, person who right. really does. All right. Okay. The last box. So, my uh, first Kirby here, I, I brought up Sora because I've seen a lot of people online talking about Sora and Sora is saying it's gonna be the answer because of some tweet years ago, which was asking permission for a Disney IP, right? And okay, maybe Sora, okay? I mean, it, it, it's a pretty good character, but if you're looking at Disney IPs, you also have like Loki, right? And you have, here we have, um, Captain Jack Sparrow. So there's a lot of different IPs that Disney owns. So I don't think that's a de you know a definite that it's going to be Sora. Though I know Sora is the popular one that everyone's voting for right now. Okay. So Sora, maybe there's a chance. There's that leak idea. There's the chance. So maybe, but um, you know, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow, right? Okay. Yes. All right, what's your next one, Yuri? Uh, my next yeah. one? Yeah, and you have your title here. Oh. Yeah. All right, and who's that? I do uh, it. from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and ha he gives you more book. space in mm -hmm. your weapons and stuff. Yeah, he gives and you more space in weapons, yeah. Now what are you supposed to do? Hetsu, Hetsu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he doesn't have a magic without Stuff. Mm -hmm. And they have to clean it back. And he mm -hmm. said, oh no, they took the magic out of it. They're <laughs> trying to fight the magic. <laughs> they do, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you have the Korok Seeds, right? Which is everyone's favorite quest from Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. That's what you give yeah. to him and he gives you something. Yep. But what, what's good about it? I think he is a fun character, um, especially with some of his moves in from um, from uh, Age of Calamity, where he's bringing in other Koroks and doing other things. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Good call, Yuri. Good call. All right. I wanted to do this. So, so another popular one that I want to talk about is Rayman. Mm -hmm. Rayman has been on Nintendo systems for a long time. Um, he is a very popular pick. Um, I think he has a chance. Yeah, he has a chance. He looks kind of weird with his floating hands and floating feet, Kirby, but, you know, Rayman has floating hands and floating feet. And he looks kind of funny that way, but he does, right? Yeah. Yeah. But Rayman, I know it's popular. Uh, I think it could be a good pick, right? Right. You're just seeing the pop of one in Yeah, I am. I'm going after the, the most likes we get. All right, what's next, Yuri? Uh, oh, look at that. King Goomba. There are a bunch of them. Yeah, we have some other pictures of Goomba, too, here. Here we got Samus fighting a Goomba stack. We got King Goomba here. And 
and the Goomba Kirby. So we're into Goombas back in. Yeah, this is one of our first ones we looked at. Um, and we looked at the stack because we thought that could be like how he attacks or something, right? Yeah, he can jump over it and mm -hmm. attack behind. Exactly. Exactly. Because like in um, in regular... Uh, it's it, it, it mm -hmm. real tall. Sure. And, and the top one jumps mm -hmm. high to fight with the other you are going to find another one. Alright. Like, yeah! I, I guess. Yeah! I just went, no! And fight behind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Goombas, they don't have a lot of attacks, but I've seen, like, detailed mood sets from people online about them. I think they'd be fun, right? Yeah. I mean, come on, Piranha attack. Piranha plant. Yes. And they have him as a character, so obviously they can think of moves for Goomba, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So my next one is a Pokemon, right? So these are all the starters uh, from Pokemon Sword and Shield here, right? I got Score Bunny and Grookey and Sobble, right? When I when I played the game, I let's see, I, I had Score Bunny, Score Bunny with mine, and then Score Bunny, right? So, um, I think it's a good possibility that they could take something from Pokemon. They've done it before in the past. I don't think it'd be very popular. I think people wouldn't like it. But no one could really argue with it because, you know, it's Pokemon, right? And then down here I have the, the last, uh, the, the last, you know, generation thing here. The Cinderace and Rillaboom and Talion. It's right down there. Some fun Kirby's there, right? All right, what's your next one, Yuri? You have two left, huh? All right, here we have Among Us crewmate or imposter, right? Yeah. Right, and he has that brain slug on his head there. I like this one. I think this one turned out pretty good. I tried to do it in the art style of the game, right? So I did that, that kind of idea. So why do you think um, Among Us might be included in Smash? And I also heard you said somebody really seems to be that. Yeah, I know. In, in our comment section, we did have someone who said, um, um, what did he say? He said that Among Us should be it because you can play Among Us inside Among Us. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he meant by that, but hey, I'm not going to argue. Right? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. All right. My next one here is Kratos from God of War, right? Uh, which is a Sony IP, but I think it's one of the most popular ones, really. To, to kind of go that way, but Kratos, he's from God of War, he's a pretty interesting character, a lot of backstory, and you can do a lot of, uh, a lot of moves with him pretty easily. Kratos. Yeah. All right, Yuri, what's your last one? Tails! Pretty cool, right? So Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog, you notice his name is? Miles. Yeah, Miles is his name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, you know, Sonic, Sonic. Yeah. have a chance. Yeah. Um, you're right, Sonic's already in Smash Brothers, but also they have announced Genesis titles on to the Nintendo Switch Online. Some of those Genesis titles has Miles here, so it's a good time to introduce him to kind of promote that uh, series. Also, um, the new movie's going to come out at some point, and they can do a cross-promotion with that. So, yeah. Miles Tales. Now, my last one I want to go over, Hades. I like this Kirby. It's a big mustache, right? <laughs> big mustache. Kind of like my mustache, right? I, and he's he's the, the dad of Zagreus, right? And I'm Yuri's dad, so you know I kind of you know, relate to this guy a little bit. So uh, I'm not the same strict father as Hades, though, right? Yeah, he's the one who told you the other person. Mm, he's a pretty strict father, and uh, maybe I'm not as strict. As him, but, <laughs> yeah. right. Hades is the one here that we have uh, as my final pick. 
And we've done a lot of different Kirby's, a lot of predictions, and really whatever character it ends up being, I think it's going to be a fun character. Yeah, and probably ours. Yeah. They're very good at making them. They're very balanced. Um, probably the king. And I'm looking for. Wow, well, I'm thinking. I'm still thinking it's EMMI promotion. They're promoting Metroid Dread. That was my call first, guys. If it happens, right? Promoting Metroid. Right. We'll see you tomorrow morning. All right. All right. So thank you everyone for watching. If you stayed to the end, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the video, share it with someone else that you think might want to know what could be the next Smash Brothers character. Have fun playing and we'll see you. Thanks for watching. Bye.